my god, am I going to have lipstick on my teeth this whole time? Oh. Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm going to do my January favorites for the month of January, obviously. I know it's February already. The month has flown by. I've been super busy with work and life lately, so sorry this is going up a little bit late, but I only have a few January favorites for you, so let's just get right into it. So I'm going to start in just no particular order at all because that's how I like to go. But the first favorite that I have is from Cover FX. It is the Illuminating Setting Spray. I only have the small version here because I'm using up my samples before I use up my full sizes, as you guys already know. I do have the full size in my drawer and I've been loving this. It does not actually set my makeup to be completely fair. It gives me this beautiful like lip from within type of look, type of glow, and I just really love it. I don't have it on today unfortunately, but the sprayer is really nice and gentle on it too, which I really appreciate. I do like a more wet sprayer if that makes sense, but I've been loving this Cover FX setting spray. Loving it. It's going to be beautiful in the summertime too. My kitty cat is here again. He always likes to stop in and say hi, don't you? So if you see a tail or some ears, that would be him. Okay, so something I got from Ipsy in December, I think it was December, is this SL Miss Glam um, highlighter brush. I love it. It's like super dirty right now but I just love it. Like the density on here is just perfect. The softness, it's like just soft enough. It's just tapered enough. I just love this brush. And I know SL Miss Glam is a fairly like inexpensive brand. So if you guys haven't picked this up yet, I definitely recommend this. And I actually recommend it over the, um, what is this? The setting brush from Real Techniques. This is what I was using for my highlighter for forever And you guys can kind of see the difference here The setting brush is more has more of like a flat side and then like a rounded side and the SL Miss Glam Brush has more of like a rounded in general tip. I don't know. I just really am loving this one So I'm actually gonna wash this and start using it for setting my under eyes not with concealer but with just like a powder but yeah, I've been loving this brush. I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a highlighter brush. Then the next thing I have is actually a sample that I've been trying to use up because same thing, like I said, you guys know I'm using up my samples right now, but it is the Tarte Friction Stick. And it's just like this little tiny sample of it. And it's so good, you guys. Like, oh, it looks so gross right now, but that's okay. It's like this... I don't know, like dark purpley type of color. It's got like abrasiveness to it, but the rubbing on your skin is not so bad that it actually hurts my skin. When I have things that are abrasive and washes that really like are physical washes, I just don't like them at all. Like they're too rough on my skin. They leave my skin super dry and super red. I just don't like them. But this one is so good and it's Good enough to be cleansing, but not so good that it's abrasive and hurts. I really like this, you guys. I know this is kind of expensive if you buy the full size. This is a sample that I got from probably an Ipsy or a um, Sephora Playbox, but I love this. I seriously recommend it, and I'm actually going to be sad when it's gone. I might have to pick up another one, but this has been awesome this month. I've had a few breakouts from trying out some different medications and stuff for some of my different issues, but um, yeah, other than that, I've been loving, loving that. It's been working really well to clear up my skin. Two lip products. I guess I have three lip products, so I'll start with this one. This is the Hanalei Lip Treatment. It's just like a little sample. I actually have two backups of this. I use this every day right out of the shower. It's definitely like a Vaseline consistency and smell, but it works much better than Vaseline in my opinion. I just use this after the shower and it leaves my lips so plump and moist and I know you guys hate the word moist, sorry. But it does, it just leaves them so moisturized and I just, I really, really love this Hanalei lip treatment. I can't go without it now that I've been using it for so long. It really does do well for my lips. Then I have my ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Cami, and this is a matte X formula. As you guys know, this is in one of my project pans, 
And a little spoiler, this is how much I have left. I've used this so many times and it just won't go down. Ugh, but I love the shade. I love the color. Seriously, every time I wear it, I always get compliments on my lips. I love this and the formula is so nice, but I will say when you're wearing it for too many hours in a row, instead of reapplying it, I take it off with a makeup wipe and then I moisturize my lips with just a chapstick and then let that sit in for a little while and then I put it back on. I won't reapply it just because the formula is very drying if you reapply. So if you have a touch up, it's fine, but if you need like a full reapplication, I recommend taking off it first, taking off the first layer first, and then hydrating your lips and then putting it back on. Yes, but I love it. It's so good. They're only five bucks. Seriously, you can't do better. I'm just saying. And the last lip product I have, I actually showed this in one of my vlogs in December, I believe. Might have been January, but it is the Tarte Color Splash Lipstick in the shade Set Sail. I love this lipstick. Oh my god. I've worn this so many times. I am actually scared that I'm going to run out of it. I just, I love this lipstick. It's such a good color. I don't know. It's so perfect on me. It wears so nicely when it wears off. It just leaves my lips moisturized and it doesn't look weird. Like the color fading looks great. I've worn that to so many different events over the holidays. I just, I can't get enough of it. I'm still wearing it, not today obviously, but I'm still wearing it almost every day and I love it. Like I can talk for hours with it when I'm teaching. I can wear it at work. I can wear it anywhere and it looks great and it goes with my skin tone and like I said it fades so nicely so if I forget to reapply or forget it then it doesn't look bad. I love it. So another product that I loved in January was this Honey Skin Soft Mask from Leaders and this was so hydrating on my skin. You guys can check out my sample project panel, I'll link it down below, but I loved this mask. I need to go get more. Like I said, I have more masks that I really need to use up first, but I want this mask again, especially in the winter time when I need that extra hydration. Oh, I wanna go pick it up. It's only like four bucks. I wanna go pick it up. I'm really tempted. I don't know, I don't need it right now. I'm gonna wait but I really want it because it's so good. Another sample that I used up that I was absolutely obsessed with this month was the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula Coconut Oil Facial Moisturizer. And I know this is just a sample and people don't like it when you give full reviews on items when it's just a sample, but I literally used this 18 times. 18 different days that I used this and I feel like that's a fair amount of time, especially for my skin, to actually use a product and figure out if it's good or not. Oh my God, this was so good. This smell, gosh, it has such a fresh scent to it. I love the scent. I could put it on in the daytime under my makeup. I could put it on at nighttime before I went to bed. It was so good with my skin. It didn't leave my skin oily. It sank right in, but without being dry after it sank in, if that makes sense. I really love this. I will repurchase this. Okay, just a few more products for you guys. I have been trying out or retrying out the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle Highlighter and I've been loving it. It is such a good natural highlight for me and it just sits on the skin so nicely. It doesn't collect on any of my dry patches. It doesn't highlight any kind of texture. It's so gentle and soft looking. I love this. I wear this every time I teach and honestly when I just want a really light makeup look or a no makeup makeup look when I'm not wearing foundation or anything and I just want a little bit of a glow, I'll put this on. There's already a dent going in there. I love this highlighter. I'm so glad I didn't declutter it and I decided to try it out again because now that I've been liking more natural highlighters, I'm obsessed with this one. It is so good, seriously. Two, three more products left. 
So you guys know that I love the Bare Minerals Original Foundation and I actually picked up the shade lighter than the one I was wearing and this one's in the shade Light Beige 09 and this has been much better color for me in the winter time. It still looks a little bit dark in the packaging but it's the perfect color for me right now. I don't have it on today. I have a liquid foundation on today. But I just, I love this foundation. It's so high coverage. It has SPF of 15. This is the foundation I am bringing to Florida with me in a couple weeks. I will do a packing my travel makeup bag with you guys here coming up very soon. But yeah, this is definitely the foundation I've decided I'm bringing with me to Florida. I'm not bringing any liquids with me. I don't use them enough and I know that it's going to be hot so I don't want my skin or my face melting off. So I've decided I'm going to use this powder foundation with me. It's so good. It's high coverage. It doesn't wipe off. It it just sits on the skin so nicely. It just looks like my skin, but better. Ugh. But if you guys are into powder foundations, I highly recommend this one. And the last like smaller item I have is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. Why did it take me so long to try this? I have no freaking clue. This is so good. It's hydrating. It sinks into my skin. It doesn't accentuate any pores. I I don't even know like it just gives me a nice like not glowy look but like it just very hydrated healthy look under my makeup like I'm wearing it today under my makeup and I just feel like my makeup looks so much better when I use this oh I'm gonna have to buy the full size this is in one of my project pans and I actually have one more of these little samples I love this it's so good the hype about it is real it's so good and then my final product is not a new product by any means but it is a new to me product and it is the master palette by mario from anastasia beverly hills a friend of mine here on youtube jackie from jacks lorraine i can link her channel down below she was decluttering this and one of her declutters and i had just commented and i was like oh my god that palette looks so beautiful. I, that was the one that I missed out on. You know, it was a limited edition palette. And this is one that's like not coming back. And this is one, this is probably the one limited edition palette that I wanted to buy so many times, but I just didn't pull the trigger on buying it, thinking that it would be a around a lot longer than it was. And I didn't pick it up. And then after I realized it was really gone for good, I was so upset that I didn't pick it up and she was so kind to send it to me and I love it. I don't even know. It goes so good with every single look that I'm going for. It mixes well with other palettes. It goes good on its own. It's so much fun to use these colors because I can make them very, very subtle and just blend it out and just fade it. Or I can make them super pigmented and vibrant. Ugh. I love this palette. It's been so much fun to use and I've been really getting more adventurous with my eye looks and doing different colors underneath and stuff like that and I'm just obsessed with this palette. It is so much fun to use. I love it. So thank you so much again Jackie. I cannot say how, how thankful I am to have this palette. I'm having so much fun using it and literally any day that I know I'm not filming I've been wearing this palette because I love it that much. Literally. Like I'm scared to hit pan on these shadows because I want to have this forever because I love it so much. But anyway, so those were all of my products from January that I was obsessed with or loving or new finds or things that I used up that I just am missing in my collection now. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. You are loving these favorites videos. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hey! Woo! Bless me. This is how he lays in my arms. Like a baby. He's my baby. My baby kitty. <laughs>